Hi everyone, I'm Fatima. I'm a third year medical student at UMHS and I'm going to be taking you into a day of my life as a student doctor in Chicago. I'm currently rotating at Weiss Memorial Hospital and I am doing my internal medicine rotation here and hopefully you'll learn some insight into how it is to be a medical student for internal medicine. Here is Weiss Memorial in all its glory. I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, my daily habits and rotations for internal medicine. So obviously internal medicine is my first rotation and it's been, it is, it's a great experience overall. You learn a lot in such a short amount of time and you learn the highest yield information that's needed for these patients to do, to be treated just as well as we could treat them. Um, lots of diabetes, lots of heart disease, lots of depression, lots of just the general illnesses that come to patients from the age range of 30 to 80, probably 90 at times. For internal medicine rotations, you should be using online medit to help you understand how to properly treat these patients, uh, step up to medicine. There is also first aid for step two, but I've been hearing that um, step up to medicine is the, the best resource, so I've been using that, um, and it's been helping. Online med ed is, the guy's very good at what he does. So I just wanted to tell you guys about my typical day in the hospital. Um, I go to Weiss at about 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm usually one of the first ones there. And when we go in, we just check to see how many patients we have. Um, and really it's like a first come, first serve type of thing. So if you come in first, you see the first patient. Um, my attending is really great in the fact that he allows us to see our own patients. So. We are pretty much the first person that they see, and we get their um, chief complaints, HPI, review of systems, all of that stuff. Thankfully, Maine has done such a great job with, um, with the virtual clinics and teaching us how to become the best type of physician um, with the patient. Um, because also it's about learning, you know, medications and learning how to diagnose patients and all that stuff. But also it's about bedside manner. And I feel like Maine has really taught us how to be empathetic towards people, um, how to be a great physician to the patient from, um, from an emotional standpoint. And also the technological standpoint is just like, it's really good. Um, whatever has been taught in Maine has been, is, is being used by all of us. Um, and we're able to care for our patients as properly as we should. So I see the patient and then um, when I get the diagnosis and all of that, that's when I talk to my attending and I let him know what I think the diagnosis is going to be. After that, really, after we see our patient, um, my attending usually takes us into a conference room and he'll teach us for a few hours about a certain disease, um, whatever needs to be taught. Um, for example, if we're talking about GERD, he'll say, okay, you have to present something on GERD. And then if we're talking about MIs, we have to like go into the depths, like what are the differential diagnoses and all that stuff. So he, he does a really great job with that.
going back to Chicago now. I'll show you the train. about how we've been administering vaccines to the to the healthcare workers. It's been a great experience actually. So um, so I think it was about two weeks ago we knew that we were gonna be getting the vaccines as at Weiss Hospital. And when we first got it, um, my experience was great. I enjoyed it. Um, we went in, we signed up and all of that stuff and then we got the shots. Um, each person's symptoms are different. I felt a little bit sick, but my attending felt fine. Everybody else in the hospital, um, the office area that I work in felt fine. <clears throat> so their, their experience is different than mine. Um, but then afterwards, we um, were asked to volunteer to administer vaccines. And I felt like that was one of the best experiences I could have, especially as a medical student, because in this time, you want to feel like you've contributed. Um, to society, especially because you're a healthcare worker, you want to feel like you've done something significant in order to help, you know, help not eradicate, but minimize this disease as much as possible. So when we were asked for that, we jumped on that opportunity. Um, so yeah, we got to administer vaccines. I think I volunteered probably, probably two weeks worth of my time. And it's been great. It's been such a nice experience to be part of, um, a, be a part of history and be a part of the positive part of history. Um, so yeah, it was a great experience and I would definitely recommend all medical students volunteer to administer vaccines because it allows you to do your part. And I know a lot of medical students feel like they, there's no opportunity to do our part in such a pandemic. So if we can do this, then that's great and we should do it and we should move forward in that sense. Okay, so now we are in, in Weiss Memorial and we're gonna be administering COVID vaccines to medical staff who need it. You need to really think of the patient as a whole. You need to put in their financial aspect into the situation, their family aspect, their environmental aspect, because a patient isn't just their disease. They have a lot of factors that contribute to either helping them heal or helping them go on the other end of the spectrum. So when you're treating these patients that have um, such complex diseases, AKA diabetes, diabetes has so many different factors to it. You have to really see how the patient handles their day-to-day -day life and how their, how their life schedule is. Do they work out? Do they take their medications? Do they properly adhere to the medication administration? Um, there's lots of patients that you tell them to take the medications and they say they feel better so they stop taking it. And there's lots of patients with hypertension, silent disease. They say that they're fine, they don't want to take their medication, they think they're okay, let's move forward. And then they come in and see you and their blood pressure is 169 over 100. It's it's not good. So you have to properly learn how to speak with the patient in order to work with them to treat themselves. Um, as we know, Western medicine, as of now, is more of um, a balancing act. So you are their doctor and you're caring for them, but you have to make sure that they do their part. So you have to contribute. You have to allow them to understand how they can best heal themselves with the medication that you're giving them and with the treatment method that you're giving them. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm learning in internal medicine now. It's more about the art of medicine just as much as it is about the science of medicine. And it's been a great rotation so far.
So yeah, I got the second dose and um, I it's the same dosage amount as the first uh, vaccine. So as of now, I got it probably like an hour ago. As of now, I feel good, thankfully. Um, and God willing, tonight will be smooth. Um, they do say to expect some side effects after the second dosage. Um, I experienced them on my first dosage, so God willing, I won't have to experience them on the second one. Um, but I'm very grateful. I'm great, very grateful to have gotten the vaccine, to have administered the vaccine, to have been a part of history. Um, all of those things, it's just um, it's a lot of great emotions that come to the surface because we've, we've done something so good in such a small period of time. And um, it's beautiful to see science really coming together to help the world, you know? And it's even more beautiful to see the healthcare community um, stepping up to be the first ones to say, hey, it's okay to, to take it. Um, so yeah, that was my day. So I was focused solely on that. I'm gonna go home now, um, probably do some questions, do some Anki cards and get some early rest and probably watch a movie hopefully if i have the time um but yeah i just wanted to keep you guys up to date and hopefully it'll, it'll give you guys um hope for the future for sure okay guys so i think that's it for the day um you got to see me throughout my day-to-day -day experiences as an internal medicine student doctor and hopefully is giving you some insight in how to study for your boards and how to be a sufficient student doctor. And um, I wanted to say thank you to med tutors for featuring me in this post. And I wish you all the best of luck and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.